Hi everyone, Alex here, continuing with our Revit multi-trade course from 0 to 100. Today we're going to be focusing on foundation walls and footings. We're going to start by identifying some load-bearing walls in our project. Then we're going to create some foundation walls in our project, all those that you see in red. Then I'm going to show you the relationship between the footing and foundation walls. We're going to be talking about different aspects of the wall. It's going to be great. See you in Revit. Hi everyone, this is Alex with BIM It Up where we help you with professional training and coaching in mechanical, electrical, plumbing, fire protection systems, and Autodesk platforms like Revit and AutoCAD MEP. Let's get started. All right, so in the last video, we created some exterior walls, and now we're gonna go back in time a little bit to see what actually happened. So it turns out that back in the old days, this area here where the current laundry sits used to be a garage. And these two walls here are actually load-bearing walls, and there was a wall here enclosed in an old chimney here. So let's go ahead and extend this wall. And then we're going to do create similar. And we're actually going to pick up this edge here. I'm going to flip it with the space bar. I'm going to get here and then turn around and then join the other wall. Now I'm going to hit escape escape. Now we're going to zoom out. So our building needs something to bear on, right? So this exterior walls have to be supported by something. And that something is going to be foundation walls. So let's go back to the old days and let's take a look in the crawl space to see what foundation walls look like for this house. So how about those foundation walls? Well, this house has a crawl space somewhere around here and I got in there and this is what I found. So we can clearly see the top of footing in the different images. This one's pretty clear. And then above the top of footing, we can see the structural wall. Then we can see the structural wood planks here and then the joists that support the structural wood floor on top. So what we want to end up with is a perimeter structural wall with a continuous footing right underneath it. So that's gonna look something like this. You'll have the top of your structural wall, you have the top of your footing, and then you have the bottom of your footing. And then you have the crawl space somewhere in between the bottom and the top of footing. Something like this. So this would be the top of footing, bottom of footing would be somewhere underneath, then the top of the structural wall is this, then you have some structural wood, and then you have your joists, and then your structural floor. Okay, now I'm gonna draw a section cutting through this wall. And I'm gonna come here to structure under walls. I'm gonna click wall, and I'm going to select the foundation 12 inch concrete. And I actually wanna make that an 18 inch. So I'm gonna go edit type, I wanna duplicate, I'm going to change that from 12 to 18 inches. Hit OK. Now let's edit our structure. So it's going to be 1 foot 6 inches, so 18 inches. I'm going to click OK. And now we're going to click here on Pick Lines. And we need to make sure that instead of Finish Face Exterior, we have Core Center Line. And then we hover over it. And this is a little tricky. So you have to be zoomed in. You hover over the wall and then you tab and then you make sure that you're tabbing and selecting from the bottom see from the top it select those walls that I don't want from the bottom it selects the routing that I want so I click on it and I get that warning and I'm going to ignore it and I'm going to click this wall this wall this wall and all this warning is saying is that I cannot see any of those elements that I'm creating and that makes sense because I am using as my depth the top of footing and I'm sitting on my wood floor which is level one. So in order to see those walls I need to go to the top of footing which is this view here and there are my walls, right? And now what I want to do is attach a continuous footing to the bottom of this structural wall. And for that under the structure ribbon you come here where it says wall and we're going to do something similar with this foundation we're going to edit it because 36 inches is too much what we want is about 30 inches so let's duplicate let's change this to 30 inches we'll remove that too now we want to change our width to 30 inches as well so 30 inches and click OK and now you need to make sure you select the actual structural wall, which is this one. Don't select this one because it's going to attach it to this wall. You want to attach it to the structural wall. And you can do something similar. You can do tab select and then click on it. And there you go. And now we're just missing this wall here, this wall here, and this wall here. 
Now let's take a look at our section. So let's double click here. And there we go. So this is the top of our footing. Our crawl space is somewhere around here. This is the bottom of footing. We're going to adjust this a little bit later. And then we know that of our structural wall, we have those wood planks, right? So now this is looking really good, right? It's looking very similar to this. So we're on the right track. And you know, we can open up our 3D view and see what's going on. It's looking really good. That's the outside. And then let's look at the inside of the house. That's very good. Just a note to say that if you're watching this, you're not currently on our BIM it Up platform. So you may be getting only partial content. For exclusive BIM it Up training material, you want to visit BIMITUP.com. Subscription to the website is free with some paid and some free content. We're trying not to run ads here. So the creation of the content is made possible mostly by the contribution and support of our subscribers. So if you enjoy what we do here, please consider becoming one. You can do so by joining our Patreon community at patreon.com slash BIMITUP or by simply scanning the QR code that you see on screen right now. And if you're really serious about your professional training, you can book some live training at bimitup.com or by simply scanning the QR code that you see on screen right now. Thank you and I'll see you next time.